Hello and welcome back to Dark Lair with Danganronpa. I'm trying to find missing bodies at the moment because someone's committing necrophilia, as it happens. Um, let's check the make any shit that she wanted. Say it's art room. That I will consider art. Actually, no, all these are, but that stuff is not. That stuff ain't. Actually, mm, well, it's five year old's art. Not at all. Huh? The door must be locked. Oh, have we done that before then, have we? Alright, whoops. My bad. Of course, now we're playing fucking Spot the Retards. Oh, there we go. Makoto. Come on. Why are you why are you just standing there? We need to get to the res repository. Huh? You mean? Indeed. I found them. Hifumi and Taka's body had both been hidden in the repository. Goodbye. I've already told Hina and Sakura. So I opened the door. And when I entered, I saw Yeah, well, we've already seen them. We've already seen them. Fuck's sake. Not that big of a shock. We know they're dead. The two bodies that disappeared were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. Fat people exist. And then I heard the announcement for a second time. I'm loving it. Oh fuck, I gotta do this with an ill voice. A body has been discovered. Oh, no, after a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Yay! Ooh, yay! <laughs> oh, fuck, I haven't got the data voice. So, here we are! It's the Monokuma file! Without further ado, let me give you all the next Monokuma file! <laughs> I was gonna hand them out when you found the bodies! The first time, I thought something might happen. What? It was really hard to resist, but turns out I was right. Just hand it over already. So something he knew something was gonna happen. Let's just bear that in mind. Punishment is waiting for you. Oh, I'm gonna give you a cold fucking spank! No Oh shit, it's already gone to pair. Oh god. Now make sure to investigate with all your mental might and prepare for the class trial! See ya later! Okay, see ya later! Hmm. Well then, now that we've found the bodies, all that's left is to uncover the culprit. What the heck? H hold on! How can you be so, so calm? I mean, they're dead! Quotation marks, you know? That's terrible! Dead! Come for even! They need to call me big! Awful! This this is just this 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 don't do awful. Hilda Sunday burst into tears. She clutched at Hifumi's lifeless body. Fuck me one last time, big boy. Why? Why? If this was some kind of world of make-believe, that might have been when Fumi opened his eyes. But this wasn't a movie. This was a video game. Uh, uh. Oh, this my noise. Fumi became hard. This wasn't. He's alive again. Where am I? I didn't... Is that the voice I meant to do for it? Cold. No, I'll keep this one. So cold. Is winter coming? Wait, this is. This is before Game of Thrones, right? Winter's coming, and so have I. Fumi, wake up! Huh? Uh, that's right. I was poking you when I died. I remember now. Hope's peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember. Everything. 
everything before I met you all. I met you all. <laughs> His memory is all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer us. You ain't going to heaven. You fucking are so perverted you're going to hell. Which, like to be fair, is probably better than heaven. Because that's where all the drugs and the hookers are. God's not going to give you any of that crap. Hey, Umi! Who was it? Who attacked you? My mother! Who tried to kill me? Is that Who killed me? That's right. I remember. Their name, y Yasu. Hero. Wait, Yazu. Yazu. Oh, Yazumi. Who's fucking Yazumi? Hero. Hero Yazumi. Oh, yeah, it's the same guy, isn't it? His eyes closed. And they never opened again. Death for the second time. Absolute, undeniable death. No matter how many more of Hina's tears splashed his face, there was no second miracle. Reality set in again. <laughs> this isn't some stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Honestly. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins? No calcium in your bones? At least you have m your meat. Stop talking. I love my dick. Going out, of going out of his way to return, just to give us those unnecessary dying words. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. <gasps> he said he is zero, right? Then perhaps. He has zero hooker. Haga Chloe. Haga. Yes, That is the only person he could have been referring to. So, in other but words. But who's Yuzumi? Who's Yuzumi? I'm fucking sure there's someone called Yuzumi. Hang on. Who's called fucking Yuzumi? Yuzumi. Why is. Fucking Yuzumi. Is Yuzumi not a thing? Oh, that must be from something else. Okay, ignore me. And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and even killing Taiko and Nefumi. And then going so far as to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what Hero is? What is this? If, if it's true, I, I can't forgive him. No way can I ever forgive him to kill two of our friends. Anyway, it's about time we tracked down the culprit on our little life or death game here. Also, just saying, he might not have killed both. He might have only killed Fatty. Although this time it's not all that life or death, the child will conclude without much trouble. Indeed. Yes, it does look that way. It's going to begin again. We have to go through this one more time. Why one more time? I have to accept it. I have no choice but to go through with this. To make sure everyone survives. Just do it! First, I better check the Monokuma file. The victims were Hifumi Yamada and Kiyotaka Ishimaru. The cause of death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it. Very strange. Yeah, it's pretty strange. We get less information this time than before. <sighs> that is a problem. That is no problem. After all, the events of this case unfolded <laughs> before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened than the Monokuma file could, anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well, there's something else that's bothering me. Hmm. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Are you, are you talking about Kyoko? Perhaps. 
without a doubt, she has an alibi for when Celeste and Nafumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? An accomplice? An accomplice? What are you doing here? Don't be rude! I'm here to answer your question! What question? You're talking about accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial? Speaking of wits, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. All right, yeah, good point. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? In other words... So, basically... You can ban you can ban a competition if you want, but there's no gear gratification in it. So but there's no gratification in it. <laughs> I honestly might have to do that for his fucking voice. So are you saying nobody worked together this time either? Hey! Sorry, can't answer them! It would obstruct the free exchange of information between you guys! I I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might assist in a murder. Yeah. Fuck it, that'll have to do for now, because I just need to make some of these. I'm sorry that I can't do Mickey Mouse or the other one I do. Sorry. Only one black and can graduate, and accomplice gets nothing. So in other words... Then we only need to figure out who... Who that black and is that did the killing, right? Just like normal. Okay, okay, let me take the time you need to, to clarify the whole shebang. In this class trial, what you need to determine is... Extreme. The one true blackened to devise the murder plot and put it into action. A true blackened? So just one person? Well, That's enough for explainifying. Now it's down to the final battle between all of you and the blackened. Good luck to all the contestants. So there can only be one blackened. An accomplice wouldn't benefit. Then I can't see why any... Can't see anyway. Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. Hm. You may be right. Um... If that's true then, Kyoko, where are you? However... As long as she's not connected to her case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed. I have absolutely no doubt that Hiro is responsible. Why? Why? Just because he said. You remember that? But for the first time, but for the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to- Okay, never mind. Scrap chat. I suppose it can't hurt to pursue a further information. So, um... You know, don't you think we should consider a certain someone as a suspect just in case? I'm talking about a Mercer's fiend genocide jack. <laughs> oh, ah, I'm offended! <gasps> you! When did you- <laughs> I'd be looking all over for you, master! When I woke up, you wouldn't know what had been found! Anyway, you there, milk sack screaming girl. Huh? <laughs> milk sack. Milk sack? Why do I gotta be a suspect? What the heck? Why do I gotta be a suspect? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. <laughs> so, uh, I'm like a special guest suspect every time? I have an alibi, you know. Yeah, okay, so I'll do her voice for him for now. Yeah, it might get confusing, but oh well. Hmm. She's right about that, you can read anyway, otherwise, how the fuck did you get on this video in the first place? Jeez, well done. You've managed to guess yourself onto the best video there! No, it's probably not. Actually, no, it's definitely not. Anyway, when we heard Fumi scream, she was with me. And when the bodies disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Plus, Taka's body aside, I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move Afumi's body. Yep. Bes besides, I calculate every move I make, I'm not gonna kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. <laughs> I don't call in the murderous fiend for nothing. What are you saying? That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see. On another topic, should we post a guard by the bodies like before? 
We can't have them disappearing again. So then. Hina and I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Hmm. Sure, I'd be totally useless on the investigation anyway. It's all clear. But that's fine, let's begin. This whole thing is so strange. All but one of us has an alibi, so figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But, maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Because it's a fucking game and they're never straightforward! Fourth wall conclusions, but fuck it!